Is a man engaging in deep eye contact with you, wondering what it means? While locking eyes with a stranger from across the room seems like the stuff movies are made of, there is actually a lot of complex things happening in your brain to make this moment magical and memorable. You probably already know that prolonged eye contact with a guy is both exciting and maybe a little bit intimidating. There's a lot going on between two people when they lock eyes. But how can you trust what you think you're seeing and what if what you think is going on is not actually going on? Here are some of the things eye contact might mean for you. Number one, yes, he is probably flirting. Okay, let's cut right to the chase. Yes, he is probably flirting with you if he is trying to lock eyes with you. The hope is that he wants to make a deeper connection with you and lets you know by looking longingly into your eyes. Of course, the other option is that you've got something in your teeth and he's trying to get your attention. But more often than not, it's because he likes what he sees. So calm down. Keep in mind that many guys will glance your way to see if they catch you looking to figure out if you're attracted to them. This doesn't necessarily mean that he is ready to take it further with you. He might be trying to boost his own ego. After all, if he knows that girls are looking at him, it will probably make him feel better about himself. Women do the same thing too. And this is particularly the case with eye contact because it's a non-threatening way of flirting or engaging with other people. Number two, he is attracted to you. An interesting thing still happens in the dating scene. Love at first sight. Sometimes you walk into a room and you lock eyes with a guy 50 feet away from you and you can't move. You start to sweat. You feel an immediate connection with him. Well, what if when you walk in, he is already staring at you? It's probably the same story for him and he can't look away. Number three, he wants to be your hero. If a guy can't take his eyes off you, then you know there is a reason. And as we've discussed, the most likely reason is that he is attracted to you. And if he is attracted to you, then he probably wants to be your hero. Huh? Well, there's a new concept in relationship psychology that's generating a lot of buzz at the moment. And it explains why men act around women in certain ways, including staring deeply into their eyes. It's called the hero instinct. According to the hero instinct, a man will only fall in love with a woman when he feels like he is her provider and protector, someone that she genuinely needs in her life. In other words, men want to be your hero. I know it sounds a bit silly. In modern times, women don't need someone to be their hero to save the day. And I couldn't agree more. But here's the ironic truth. Men do still need to feel like a hero. After all, it's built into their DNA to seek out a relationship with a woman that makes them feel like a hero. And the kicker? A man won't fall in love with a woman when this thirst isn't satisfied. So if your man is giving you a prolonged deep eye contact, then it's likely that he is falling for you. What's the best way to trigger a man's hero instinct? Simply by finding ways to make him feel like a hero. There's an art to doing this which can be a lot of fun when you know exactly what to do. But it requires a little more work than just asking him to hold your hand across the road or carry your heavy bags. If you want to learn exactly what to do, watch the free online video that I've linked to in the description below. James Bauer, the relationship psychologist who first coined the term, gives a terrific introduction to this game-changing concept. Check it out and learn how to trigger the hero instinct in your man. Number four, he might be trying to manipulate you. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there who will try to take advantage of you and manipulate you, even when it seems like they have your best interest at heart. These people use tactics like prolonged eye contact to intimidate you or make you feel small. If you're already in a relationship with this person and they do this to you, it could mean they are trying to take control. Eye contact isn't always positive. They may use eye contact as a way to manipulate you. For example, a guy may use his eye contact to make it seem like he is expressing his love for you or is trying to seduce you when in reality, he is just trying to cast you under his spell so he can manipulate you. Or maybe he is just looking for the physical and eye contact is one of his tools he uses to seduce you. This is similar to love bombing a technique a narcissist used to control or manipulate someone else. Number five, or he is comfortable with you. While these conversations tend to take on romantic notions, it's important to understand these interactions for the rest of your life as well. Someone who doesn't make eye contact with you 
might be intimidated by you or your success, especially in the workplace. Perhaps the child won't make eye contact because they equate adults with yelling or abuse. The way we connect and interact with each other can be summed up in our eye contact and we know that the closer and more comfortable we feel about people, the more eye contact we exhibit. If he loves spending time with you and feels comfortable around you, then he will easily engage in prolonged eye contact with you. It doesn't mean he likes you sexually, but it could just see you as a great friend that he loves spending time with. Number six, he is talking about you. When we're talking with someone about someone else, it's natural to glance over at the person that is the topic of conversation. It's human nature. We can't help it. This should be very easy to notice. If he is shy and hesitant about approaching you, he may talk about you with his friends. His head might be down and then he'll naturally look over to you as he is talking. He'll also want to make it seem like he isn't talking about you. So when he looks over at you, he will most likely look away straight away. However, if he is confident, then he will look at you and he will sustain his eye contact as he is talking about you. Now if you're wondering why a guy is looking at you deeply and you want to somehow hook him for good, then keep listening. All those big blue eyes staring deeply into your soul are a great sign that, at the very least, lust is on the cards. You still have the potential to give this relationship a good old nudge. This guy wants to be your everyday hero. I touched on the concept above. It's known as the hero instinct. By satisfying that urge in your man, that deep stare will turn from lust to love in seconds. So instead of just standing there and holding eye contact, it's time to be proactive to trigger that hero instinct in your man. Start off by watching the incredible free video that I've linked to in the description below to learn exactly what it's all about. In this video, you'll learn the best ways to trigger your man's hero instinct, including the text you can send and phrases you can say to him. The hero instinct is probably the best kept secret in relationship psychology and the women who know about it have an almost unfair advantage in love. Check it out and learn how to trigger the hero instinct in your man.